Fact check. Did Obasanjo marry a 22-year-old wife? Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Some blogs and social media users have claimed the former president Olusha Gobasan just married to a 22-year-old lady. The articles alleged about the alleged marriage were published alongside the picture of a former president with CC, a reality show star. In a post dated December 28, 2021, a blog said the 86-year-old former president of Nigeria, Basanjo, has allegedly just married a 22-year-old girl again. Voice of Africa, a Facebook page with over 26,000 followers, had posted a picture with a caption that reads, Former Nigerian president, Basanjo, at the age of 81, marries a 19-year-old girl. The post generated over 122 comments and 107 likes and 24 shares. A CC user had also shared the post in 2021 saying that Obasan 26 married a 24 year old girl. Who is the lady beside Obasan Joe? CC, whose real name is Cynthia Wadiora, participated in the 2018 edition of the Big Brother Nigeria reality show. The fashion attendant was 25 years old at the time she was featured on the show. Before her stint on the show, the Enugu born actress had graduated with a law degree from Maduna University in Anambra in 2014. First of all, there are inconsistencies with the age of both parties as speculated by the blogs and social media posts. CC was 29 years old at the time the picture emerged online. Accordingly to publicly available information, Obasanjo was born in 1937 at Ibogun, Olaogun, Ogun State. As of 2021, Obasanjo was 34 years old and not 36, as claimed by the blog post. The former head of state had married a few times. His former wives are Mojisola Dekonli, Stella Abebe, Linda, and Esther Oluremi. They currently live in the state with Bola Obasanjo, whom he married in 2009. Now to the origin of the photograph. CC posted a picture on December 13, 2021, saying she had a business meeting with the former president. Corroborating this, Linus Okuri, a Nigerian leadership consultant and author, also posted a picture of himself, Madeira, and the former president on the same day. In a new, in a now deleted post, Okuri said the meeting was a preparation for the launch of Gardens of a Nation International. GOTNI, a non profit leadership development organization. Had a great meeting today with the Nigerian, with, great, with this great Nigerian chief, Olusha Gobasanjo, our highly respected former president of Nigeria, he wrote. CC, a brilliant lawyer and celebrity, was part of the visiting team. Purpose of the meeting, loading as GOTNI leadership center, prepared for her official lunch. Verdict. There is no sufficient evidence to prove the claim that a former president got married to a reality star. Therefore, the claim is misleading. Of course, this is just to this is just for gathering views and traffic. And you know, this is where I will say this is where I will say bloggers they should take time. All those bloggers they do anything they will do to get views, to get likes, to get comments. And sincerely, it is becoming very very annoying. Let's talk about this issue. Let's not keep quiet about it. These bloggers have ruined people's reputation for life. These bloggers have given someone a bad name for the rest of your life. Come on now. They go about spreading news that is not supposed to be. If you want to generate traffic, generate traffic the right way. Generate traffic the right way. Every old man needs a young woman to replenish his aspire blood cells. OBJ is not the first, as Sujuku did the same with Bianca. It is definitely not the last time we will see such strange unions. Well, it is not um, true for those who want to catch grips with this now. It is not true. Nobody is getting married to anybody. And nobody certainly got married to anyone. Okay. What is the age difference between Ujuku and Abbasanjo? You people just talk nonsense. You can only compare the comparable <laughs> okay and the young lady of 20 years a married old man like Obas and Joe is just looking for money everyone is looking for money and marrying Obas and Joe it's the easiest way to get for a lady no lady will refuse marrying the old man hmm no lady 
I bet you there are some ladies out there who would not. Okay. Ah. Uh, it was just after an interview and nothing more. My dear, leave Nigerian people who will decide to know the truth and just decide to just keep blowing around the one that is not true. Since there is no concrete evidence to support the claim, why did you post it? He posted it to correct the narrative because the news, yeah, there was once upon a time this news was going around in blogs. A lot of people were coming out to say things about it. And in fact, so he posted it to say, this is actually not true. It's confirmed that it is not true. Okay, well, like I said to you, this particular um, story is to put it out to bloggers that whatever they're doing to generate traffic is not true. That particular picture was uh, about a meeting. They went and, of course, they went and took pictures. And luckily, it was not just only um, Cynthia that took pictures. We had somebody else on the picture that um who was who goes by the name of Okori. Okori. So he actually posted a picture with the president and CC. So those of you who are looking for things to say <laughs> who are always looking for news, fine. The news has come. They have told the people nothing is going on. Nobody's getting married to you know the press the former president and the former president is doing nothing but enjoy himself. Hmm? Now, back to those who are saying, uh, the former president, of course, the former president, just like people are saying here, he can actually get whoever he wants to get. But certainly, it is not everyone that will agree. Let us not deceive ourselves. It is not everyone that will agree, Kaba. It's not everyone that will agree. So, because somebody said, no girl will not want to get married. Well, I put it to you that um, even if uh, members of your family the females in your family would want to. There are people who would not want to, no matter the amount involved, who would not want to. Okay? And the reason might not even be money. The reason might not be money. There's this um, there's this this popular saying that, you know, women do things, you know, they just do things just for money's sake. Just for money's sake and nothing more. But I put it to you. That such women still exist women who don't do things not for money's sake who do things rather for you know for the right reasons okay on this note we have come to the end of the news we say thank you for telling me to listen and so i come here next time enjoy the rest of your day